Hello world, I'm an average Joe and I play games, and welcome to Destiny Boot Camp, where I break down my gameplay to help you improve yours. And today we are going to be breaking down a double skirmish gameplay on the map Anomaly. Now this was one of the most intense games of Destiny PvP that I have ever played, and to be honest with you, one of the most intense games of any multiplayer FPS in a very, very long time. It was a fun game, and it's because we trailed man, like 99% of the game. Like we were in the lead once at the beginning of the game, and then we had to storm furiously back to make a comeback, which led to a very intense final few minutes to this game. So now we spawned in. I am playing with Apex Crucible from Oversoul Gaming. Link down in the description below. And this is the way that I like to play any game of skirmish, is to play very, very closely to my teammate. Now you can see it didn't really work out there, but you will see for the majority of this gameplay, what Apex and I do is we stay very close to one another. I am the designated wingman, so when I spawn in, it's my job to find Apex and to be his support guy. So in that role, I tend to get a lot of assists, but I also get a ton of revives. You can see how I just revived him there, and I will get a ton more of those as the game goes on. The reason why this is a good strategy in Skirmish is because Number one, you get a ton more points from being able to revive your teammates. You get 100 points per kill and 50 points per revive. So every two revives, it's like getting a free kill. Additionally, you get the shield whenever you revive a teammate. And that shield will help you survive if you are under fire and you're able to complete the revive. Finally, if you can keep together and constantly revive each other, you can get the enemy into 2v1 situations frequently. And when you do that, you're able to take out the enemy. Just like right there you saw, even though the enemy was able to take Crucible out in a 1v1, I was able to finish the kill. When Crucible and I get separated in this gameplay, that's when we tend to have a hard time and we tend to fall behind further. Guardian down. As far as class setup goes, the best exotic to run for your armor is the exotic that lets you revive faster. So for Titans and Hunters, that is Crest of Alpha Lupi. For Warlocks, that is the Light Beyond Nemesis. Now, I do not have Light Beyond Nemesis, so I'm Guardian not running down. that. The second best armor that you can run in 2v2 or 3v3 skirmish is the Void Fang Vestments because it gives you the grenade energy on respawn and when you get revived by one of your teammates that counts as a respawn for the Void Fang Vestments. I believe Hunters also have an armor with that ability. I think it's the Lucky Raspberry. That's the second best if you do not have the, uh, the faster revives armor. Now with 2v2 it's interesting because the armor, uh, so Light Beyond Nemesis and Crest of Alpha Lupi, they allow you to revive faster and be revived faster. So coordinate with your teammate because you don't both need to wear that armor. Only one of you needs to wear the armor and you both get the benefit of it. Now, if you watch up here, what our enemy is going to do is really take advantage of that armor. I believe one of them are running it because they can revive each other extremely quickly. And it lets you do some interesting things. So, like, for example, right here, I'm going to take this guy out with my Axion Bolt. So he's dead, but watch how quickly his teammate revives him. So his teammate, instead of coming after me, he revives his teammate. And that gives him the armor for reviving your teammate, and his buddy has the armor as well. And because of that, they are able to outplay us. They, we trade a couple of kills, and there's a couple of revives that go around. But as you can see, they come up in that engagement because they were able to take advantage of their faster revives. That's a little pro tip to keep in mind if you are able to uh, wear that armor. 
As far as weapons, obviously, I am running the Invective Shotgun on the uh, map Anomaly. Shotguns work out really well because it is a small map, and Fusion Rifles also work out very well. The Plan C is a beast on this uh, map. If you picked up Plan C from Xur this past weekend, jump into some Skirmish, and if you pull this map, you can really, really dominate on this map because pretty much everything is a medium line of sight which is the range at which plan c dominates and the other thing that i wanted to point out about my lo loadout is my auto rifle so i'm running a for the people auto rifle that i grabbed out of an engram and because of that it has different perks and it has the third eye perk that keeps my radar active during the match and if you can uh, find a weapon that has it, or maybe you're a hunter and you have the knucklehead radar, I do think that on Skirmish, that particular perk is much more helpful than in other Crucible game modes. Because Skirmish is all, particularly Double Skirmish, is all about winning one-on-one -on -one engagements. The team that wins their one-on-one -on -one engagements more than likely is going to win the game and the third eye perk definitely helps you do that compared to say control where you just have you have 6v6 so you have 11 other players running around and it tends to be much crazier compared to skirmish particularly double skirmish where you only have the heavy ammo drop once per match and you see the heavy ammo is about to drop and you do not charge up your super very often compared to control. So because of that, the game modes tend to be much more focused on individual gunplay. So you're going to be using your primary and your special a lot more than you would in a typical control match. And because of that, having that radar active really is key. Now we're about to make our comeback here, and I want to focus on that towards the end of the video. But the last point that I'll make about the heavy ammo is heavy ammo is king, particularly in 3v3 skirmish where the heavy ammo will drop more frequently. If your team can gain control of the heavy ammo, and particularly you want to be using a, uh, a heavy machine gun, you can really dominate the entire match. Now look at these guys. So look at the score. We're down by 300. These guys are feeling pretty confident. I mean, look at this. They even start teabagging us. So I, I pause the video here just because this is uh, somewhat comical that they're teabagging us because we are what we are about to do to these guys. We are about to embarrass them. So recall in 2v2 skirmish, the score is 3,500. So they are realistically, they could, are almost one kill away from winning the game. Kills are 100 points. If they get a 100 point kill plus any other type of bonus, a melee bonus or a headshot bonus or anything like that, super bonus, they could win the game with one kill. We're down by uh, five kills probably. And we'll just see, see what we do. Because within Destiny, this is within striking distance. You can still win the game down by 500 points. So what we want to do is we want to stay together and we see them coming on the radar. So what we're going to do is play extremely defensively. I try to pre-fire my Nova Bomb there and I fail horribly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them come to us. I have the invective. I am going to have the advantage in close range combat. As you can see, I took down both of them, got the double kill. Now we are extremely close. At this point, Apex and I are talking back and forth. Apex wanted to change positions. And I'm saying, no, 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 no. Let's stay here. Make them come to us. So they actually screw up here. If I was them... Make us come to you. If, worst case scenario, they're ahead, they don't need to get a kill to win the game. They could just sit outside of this little area that we're camping, and they would win the game. But you saw that guy, he ran in there, he tried to take us out, and I, I went down, but Crucible finished him off. With the revive, now it is literally sudden death. Literally, the next kill will end the game, and I almost screw it up, but Apex and I gang up on that guy. We take him down. We come back. We win the game. I'll tell you, that those last couple of minutes of that match, I was sweating bullets, literally, 
my hands are sweaty. I had to put the controller down. I had to walk away from the game. It took about 15 minutes for the adrenaline to cool down because that was one of the most intense uh, endings to a game that I've ever had. But we won the game because we kept our cool and we didn't uh, abandon the strategy that we had all game. Sure, we got a little campy towards the end, but we were playing on our enemies' mistakes because they were rushing in there one at a time two times in a row we had them on a 2v1 situation which is the setup that we want and we were able to win the game because of it if they had not rushed in one at a time if they had come in both of them then they probably could have finished us both off and won the game because of it well there you guys have it that is the boot camp for our uh, doubles comeback leave a comment down in the comment section below Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, do whatever you... Wow, I messed that up. You know what? Screw it. I'll leave that blooper in. All right, let's try that again. Do whatever it is you guys do, and uh, be sure to check out uh, Apex's channel down in the description below. All right, we'll see you in the next game.